Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the 31st Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about now is uh, menu screens and also uh, a little bit about our message to screen function. So this function here. So right now, <clears throat> when we run our game, I swear I hit it, but it's not coming up. There we go. And we see our first menu, uh, like this menu here. We get game over, press C to play again, or Q to quit. But eventually, I'd like to make game over, you know, bigger. And then press C to play again or Q to quit. I'd like that to, you know, not be as large as the game over. But it needs to be like game over and then the, you know, press C to play again or Q to quit. And to do that, if we try to make game over big and then press C to play again or Q to quit, it would, they would be over each other, right? Because our function right now just centers this stuff on the screen. So now what I want to talk about is, a, is just a, a real basic way to give our message to screen function and update and uh, to allow for us to add in a little more functionality like, like what I've just described. So ideally when we message to screen, we always probably want it centered. The only thing I can think of that I would never want to be like centered right out of the gate is, you know, maybe if you've got like buttons, and then maybe if you've got, um, you know, like score won't be, but that's not a message to the screen really. So everything that I can think of that would encompass what I would use the define message to screen function for uh, will be centered on the screen, but at least centered on the x-axis, but not necessarily on the y-axis. So what I'd like to add to this function is we've got message, color, and then I'm gonna just add another variable and I'm gonna call it y underscore displace. And we're even we're also going to assign a default value to this. That way, someone doesn't have to enter a y displace. If they don't, it'll just be centered totally. But they can enter a y displace should they choose. And this is going to be displacement from the center. Okay. So what we'll do now is when we go to center this, like here, we've got textrec.center equals display width divided by two, perfect, and then display height divided by two. And then what we can do here is just simply add plus y underscore displace. And now when we do that, we're basically adding whatever the amount of pixels it is that we enter into displace. So say we want to, you know, have two things. We might have, you know, game over displaced by 100 pixels up, so minus 100. And then another thing, you know, the other message will be right, maybe right in the center or maybe 10 pixels under the center, something like that. So we can do stuff like that. So now what I want to do is we're going to come over to where we have game over. So while game over equals true is what we're looking for. While game over equals true. And we have this message to screen right here. Ideally, what we'd like to do is game over. And uh, this one you know, it's red. So I'm just going to do this. So game over comma red. And then we can displace this by let's do negative 50 pixels. And then we'll do another message underscore to underscore screen. And this one will be um, press C to play again or Q to quit. And this this will be in black and then it will be displaced by 50 pixels okay so now when we go to save and run this we'll just let it run off the screen here we see we've got game over and then press C to play again or Q to quit and they're kind of, they're you know spaced away from each other obviously we can play with the spacing all freaking day um, but I'm going to change the font and the size of all this stuff so I'm not too worried about making the spacing just just so right now. Um, so we'll leave it at that. Also, just in case you guys are maybe new-ish to Python and you don't know, when you have function defaults, like we've made a default, right? So this is a parameter default where we say y displace equals zero. This allows the person to not enter something. So we could say red and then nothing, run that. And when we run off the screen, it will center the game over and then it moves the other one because we gave it a value. And if you ever have like a lot of these function parameter defaults, it's a good idea to, to define it in the actual uh, function itself when you call it. So we've got game over red and then you could you would say, uh, just to be really clear, instead of negative uh, 50, 
you would say y displace equals negative 50. And that will work in the same, in the same manner that um, it's been working. But it's a little more clear. So if you have a lot of function defaults, maybe you don't want to use all of the defaults. So like say you have a y displace and I don't know, a z displace. And y displace comes first and then z displace in the function definition. You would uh, want to specifically say, hey, I'm referencing y displace. Otherwise it has no idea what you're referencing. Also, if you just happen to have a lot of parameters in your function, it can be useful to write them out so just purely if you're reading through. You don't have to be like, wait, what was the third function in message to screen? And you got to scroll up and be like, oh, okay, it was that function, blah, 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 or that, that uh, parameter, and so on. So anyway, that's that. We're going to continue building on these, these kind of like menus and messages to the screen, make them look a little more appealing. Right now, they're really ugly. So we're going to work on that. Um, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching.